name's Luke Pearson. Um, I am the author of the Hilda series, which is a it's a, it's a series about a little girl uh, living in a kind of Scandinavian wilderness, um, and she has adventures with her creatures and things. So Hilda is kind of like strongly influenced by um, like folk tales, like specifically Scandinavian folk tales. Um, like mainly from like Iceland and um, Norway, but particularly like the idea came from when I was I was reading about um, yeah I, the Icelanders like um, the way they treat the way they treat elves like the stories about elves there like um, sometimes you see news stories about um, roads being diverted and things because like some people still believe that elves exist there um, and I was reading about that and that kind of the idea for um, like Hilda's world, um, as some like drawing on lots of different um, different elements of that folklore, and then introducing ideas that I've come up with, um, and then Hilda's like a completely original character that um, is just someone who came. She came from my sketchbooks, um, and I kind of pieced that all together to try and to make this world that um, just reflected a lot of things that I was interested in, and I could come up with different stories for. Yeah, well, I've always liked comics, and I've always drawn. I've always drawn comics since I was uh, young. Um, I studied. I studied illustration at university, and I, want, I wanted. I didn't really. I wasn't thinking that I wanted to do comics at that point. Like I just wanted to do, like be an illustrator. Um, but it's, at some point during that time, like I kind of got into like indie comics. Um, I started experimenting with that, um, and then. From there, I got involved with my English publishers, No Brow. Um, I started doing things with them. Um, and that was, they've got like a good kind of like illustration comics crossover. Um, so that's kind of how, how I ended up doing it as an adult. Um, and then I started kind of like looking back to my childhood and the comics that I read then, um, which is kind of how Hilda ended up coming about. Um, like I like to think it's like something that I would have enjoyed as a kid. Yeah, there isn't, I don't have a particular end point in mind for Hilda, like I think it could, um, like I hope that I can carry on doing it for a while. Um, but the, the idea has always been like, that I want each, I want each book to be its own thing. Um, and for people to be able to like, just read one of them at any point in the series and for it to make sense. Like I don't really want it to be like part like part eight and for everyone to feel like they have to buy the first one first. Like that was partially because I always felt the first book I was still trying to figure out. Like I was still like learning. Um, I didn't really want everyone forever. Like if I'm going to be doing this series for, for a long time, I didn't want everyone to just constantly be going back to that first book first when it's probably, it'll probably end up being like one of my, like some of my weakest work in the end. Um, but also, like I remember when I was a child, like it always frustrated me that I couldn't, um, there were all these like comic book series that I wanted to read, but I just couldn't uh, afford them. Like I, I knew it was like a big commitment that I was gonna have to buy all these, like, this whole series and I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, it. That was always really annoying to me. So I, I like the idea of having a series where you don't need, they're not numbered and you don't need to, um, read them in order um, so and yeah I, I have some ideas about how it could come to some kind of an end but I don't really plan on um, finishing it in any real way.